We have about an hour and a half to go before the last votes in Albuquerque's city election are cast. And even though there is no mayor's race, turnout has been pretty good. News 13 Scott Daniels is live at the Explorer Museum, one of the polling sites. Scott. City Clerk Amy Bailey says in a typical Albuquerque election without the mayor's race at all, it attracts very few voters. Last time around, only 10% of those registered to vote even showed up. But today, even the bad weather isn't putting a damper on the turnout. In some places, lines stretched outside and the wait was up to an hour long. Mayor R.J. Berry's bond package is a key issue for a lot of the people voting. There's less and less money where you spend it seems important. And he's talking about putting the money back in where it's going to help more of the, the everyday people in town. The sports complex is not interesting at all to me. He's talking about a controversial bond package that would spend $25 million to build a sports complex and provide $25 million more for future rebuilding of the Paseo del Norte I-25 interchange. Some people are unhappy that you can't vote on them separately. What you have to do is either vote for or against both. There are 12 bond issues in all, totaling $214 million. Another hotly contested item is a proposition that lets voters say if they think the city should keep its red light cameras. I want to make sure that the bond issues passed, and I wanted to vote in favor of the uh, red light. The majority of city councilors and the mayor say they will abide by the wishes of the voters regarding the red light cameras. There are also four city council seats available, but only two of those races will be contested. Back to you. All right, Scott, the city clerk believes ballot counting will go quickly after the polls close at 7. Counting of the early vote ballots has already begun.